main driving forces in the classroom. Motivation refers to a psychological process that gives purpose and direction. Motivation in the classroom helps students to be interested in learning. It's a process involved in the arousing and orientation of someone towards achieving a given goal. As a teacher, motivation in the classroom has a lot to do with my personality. I have to be a role model, a good leader and a good example for the students to follow. I have to listen to each and every student with keen interest, making sure I understand them and give them the attention they deserve. I'll also need to apply discipline as well as compassion. All this will help to maintain and ensure self-confidence within the students. In addition, there are certain things to take into consideration to better motivate a classroom. I have to know the likes and dislikes of the students, their age groups and levels as well as their understanding capacity with respect to the language, beginners or semi-beginners, etc. Motivation in the classroom can be done in many ways. Steps Important for Positive Motivation Motivation is essential in the classroom. Some of the steps to use include the following. 1. I'll need to build a rapport with the students. This is because students who've had a strong relationship with the teacher, are more likely to engage in the learning process and show interest in the lesson as well would like to participate often. 2. Besides, I have to equally open up about myself to the students. Discussing my likes and dislikes, thereby making them understand I am equally interested in certain things just like they do too. 3. As a teacher. I have to prepare a lesson that would engage the students. Making sure the lesson is not boring and also bringing in some aspects of humor and fun, as well as making sure learners take turns in the classroom. This can be done using devices, music, and games to boost classroom activities. 4. Moreover, I'll also give students the option to choose. While learning, some students are faster and smarter than others. It's therefore good to pair weaker and stronger students to enhance learning. It's also good to let students participate in a way that is convenient to them while taking note of minor faults and eventually provide corrections. 5. Additionally, I'll need to provide a positive environment for the students. A positive environment entails, avoiding harsh words, high tones, been gentle and soft on my manner of presentation and coordination. It's good to also have a smiling face too while in the classroom. 6. Furthermore, I'll need to be eliciting and rewarding. Eliciting from the students helps bring in their opinions about things. Rewarding encourages students to know they're doing good especially after participating. This includes giving praises and compliments like you're wonderful, great, and even a high five. This helps boost the students' self-esteem and encourages learning. It's good to promote mastery over performance goals. Classroom motivation can be influenced by two main reasons. Types of motivation. Classroom motivation can be intrinsic or extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation is that which comes from the inner mind of the student's individual interest. When the student learns because he or she enjoys the lesson in the manner in which it's been delivered by the teacher. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, is when the student learns due to external influence. This could be by gaining reward from the teacher or family relatives or influence from group or classmates. There's also the use of competition as a means of motivation. However, it has some setbacks. Some students will emerge as winners and others as losers. This might demoralize those who lose. The reward form of motivation also got its own setbacks too. Some students will concentrate more on what they stand to gain rather on the lesson itself. However, irrespective of the setbacks, motivation in the classroom is essential. It enhances communication and understanding. It directs behavior towards a particular goal. It helps and encourages a student's choice as well as increases their personal efforts in the classroom and learning process. Do you want to learn more strategies? Take a TEFL course. Conclusively, 
It's good to always elicit from students. Students are good learners and like to follow examples from their teacher's gestures or behavior. I need to be a good example and influence in their actions, behavior, and gestures. Students' motivation are influenced differently with respect to interest and activities. Motivation in the classroom drives much behavior and plays a great role in the learning process. It involves goals and requires activities. It helps students demonstrate and improve their competence as well as enhances understanding. Motivation in the classroom helps retain information taught and making the learners wishing for more. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an IDTT advisor today.